Trap's called Nam here to represent SAPS. So we need to go in here. But we do have pilots, we do have mechanics that people who uh, maintain our aircraft. We have um, also like there are those who stay in their office, those who calculate like air trafficking and whatsoever. So yeah, those are the three careers that in aviation we have in SAPS. So for you, since all you are doing grade 11, so you need to make sure that your math, your science, you get top score. Because we need level 5 in math and science. And those are the two most important subjects. But then, if then you had your challenges somewhere, somehow, you can then go to your Tibet college. I think it's there in Amenskara, you know it. Somewhere in Tem. You do your mechanics, motor mechanics, electrical, and there's also aircraft uh, fuel. But in, in, in Tibet colleges lately, I, I haven't seen it. I see it in like this private Tibet colleges around town. There's uh, aircraft fuel. But once you do those uh, mechanic or electrical, automatically you have your math and science there. So once you do your N2, N3, N4, N5, they'll match those uh, math and science say, from your N courses with your metric. So automatically you will qualify to do your uh, aircraft maintenance course, of which that course will take you a year. Yeah? Then after that year, you have to do your looking hours. So looking hours, you have to have your logbook. Yeah? You'll be doing your practicals now then. It's where then you'll be fixing those aircraft. So whatever you do, if ever now they say you remove the blades, you're going to write there on your logbook that removal of blades, it took me two hours. Then your hours has to be 2,600. Yeah? Then after doing all those things, you're going to calculate all your hours. Once they get to that 2,600, it's where then you're going to do your trade test. So on your trade test, you'll get there, they'll, maybe they'll assemble the engine, and then they tell you who re, re, uh, assemble the engine. Then you do the engine. Yeah? Then after that, if you do it correctly, you pass your trade test, and then they give you something called a trade certificate. Yeah? Then after getting your trade certificate, you are going to do your license. Yeah? That's your final thing. After getting your license, you are now a qualified mechanic. So, yeah. How long does that take? Uh, we can say three years. Three years. Yeah, because don't forget you are going to do that course. A, it takes a year. Yeah. That one. Uh, it's a course they make it in those uh, private aviation schools. So it will take you a year. So again, to do your hours, to make 2,800, 600 hours, which means you'll need another year or one, two years. Then after that, uh, trade test, I think it's only three months, six months. Then after that, your license, you will only take uh, three months also to write your license, then you're done. So, so, so there's mechanic, there's electrical. So in electrical, we call it avionics in electrical. So there are two. So when you choose which one is best for 